And empty calloused hands are all they have to show for their toil. Even so, Chet Halley says there's a famous story of Bowie's last attempt to retrieve the hidden treasure. And they got a bunch of mules and supposedly stole. They found, a, they found the cave where the Indians had stored the silver. And he got 20 mule loads. How much is a mule load of silver? It's a bunch. Uh, but the Indians followed him, and they had a big fight. Bowie and his men were driven from Menard, and he was killed at the Alamo while planning another trip. Now, as a part of Jim Bowie days, cowboys gather by the San Saba River, not far from the old Presidio, for a trail ride and cowboy breakfast. The event attracts not only cowboys, but artists and jewelry makers. Naturally, silver jewelry seems to be real popular here. You can browse the courthouse lawn of the historic town for this family-oriented three-day event. Speed and horsemanship are tested to the limit for the Pony Express races. It's a rare glimpse at a challenge that cowboys from surrounding ranches have been taking for years. What kind of man would do what I've done? What has become the most popular part of Jim Bowie days is the outdoor drama Song of Silver, an original musical with a cast of over a hundred that tells the frustrating struggle by Jim Bowie to collect the much sought after silver and the frustrating struggle by others who followed in his path. An outdoor amphitheater has been built for the drama, which delivers two nightly performances during the celebration. Chet Howley plays an old miner himself in the production, a role not too far removed from reality. Have you ever searched for it? I have. I'll give you another story. How many times have you searched for it? Well, a few. <laughs> a few. The fact of the matter is, just yesterday afternoon, I got home from San Antonio. There was a guy waiting out at the place. He said he had some electronic equipment. He said, there's a couple of million dollars down here in your pasture. I can't really adequately describe what I think some of those people are feeling. It's a, it's a romantic feeling. It's a selfish feeling. It's a feeling that uh, I got to do it. I got to do it. I'm going to find it. If I don't find it today, I'll find it tomorrow. If not tomorrow, the next day. And they go on and on and on. It's an interesting town, full of intrigue and plenty of unanswered questions. It seems the celebration with its arts and crafts, black powder shoot, treasure hunting, and outdoor drama is becoming almost as popular as the lost silver itself. Jim Bowie Day celebrates something that's in all of us, that insatiable desire to find a fortune in buried treasure. The widely acclaimed Song of Silver tells a dramatic story about the best kept secret in Texas, the legends and lovely scenery at a hidden little place called Menard. Bowie Days is the perfect chance to get away in the beautiful Texas hill country, to wander the ruins of this old mystical fort that some experts say is as historically significant as the Alamo. The celebration is an annual event, the third weekend in June. For more information, call the Menard Chamber of Commerce at 915-396-2365.